So today we're going to be looking at factorising polynomials. Now you all have been factorising quadratic polynomials for some time. Today we're going to be looking at factorising cubic polynomials. Standard setup of a question will be to be a part A, showing that a linear expression is a factor, and then looking to factorise into all of its linear factors for the second part of the question. Let's start with the first part though. It says use the factor theorem to show that x plus 4 is a factor of x cubed, subtract 3x squared, subtract 18x plus 40. So the factor theorem tells me if x plus 4 is a factor, we know that x equals negative 4 must be a root. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that if I was to substitute x equals negative 4 into the cubic expression, I would get 0 as an answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to evaluate it, and hopefully we will find that we do get 0 as the answer. So popping in x equals 4 into this cubic expression here. So we're going to have negative 4 cubed. Subtract 3 lots of negative 4 squared. Subtract 18 times negative 4. And add 40. Working out each bit in turn, negative 4 cubed is negative 64. Subtract. Negative 4 squared is 16. Multiplied by 3 is 48. Subtract. 18 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 72. And then add 40 at the end. I'm not going to do it for you, but if you were to pop all of that expression into your calculator, you would find that we get 0 as an answer. And therefore, we know that x plus 4 is a factor. Now, two marks here. The first mark, the method mark, would be for sort of substitution, so knowing that we need to substitute x equals negative 4 into the expression. The second mark would be for evaluating that correctly, showing it is equal to 0, and therefore stating that x plus 4 is a factor.